Hello and welcome everyone. So now we are coming to the topic of undamped free vibration of single degree of freedom systems. And we have discussed about degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is the number of independent coordinates that we need to express the geometry of a vibrating systems. There are single degree of freedom systems. There are multiple degree of freedom systems. And there are continuous systems that we encounter mostly in our real life which have infinite degree of freedom systems. So let us uh, keep the subject matter right now simple by taking only single degree of freedom system in consideration. So we have understood about the vibrations, elements of vibration, properties of vibrations. So vibration is also of two types. One is free vibration and other is forced vibration. As the name suggests, free vibration means there is no external forces acting upon the vibrating system. The vibrating elastic system is vibrating only on account of its inherent forces. Inherent forces can be because of initial excitation or inertial forces or restoring forces from the spring and as such there is no external force. We can write F external is zero okay? at any time t. Okay? So this is the uh, definition of free vibration. So, as such, if we see, there are mostly forced vibrations, okay? If we want to continue vibration in a system, we have to apply some external forces, either through a motor or by some mechanism. So, those vibrations where there is external force present to keep the system vibrating, they are called forced vibration. And on them, there is continuous application of a force Ft always there all right so let us try to discuss undamped free vibration now free vibration you have understood what is undamped so as we have discussed that in the course of vibration we call friction or the uh, or some viscosity or drag by the term damping so undamped means what during vibration, there is no loss of energy on account of friction or viscosity or drag which we call here by the term damping. So that's why undamped free vibration are those vibrations in which there is no application of external forces, Ft is equal to zero and there is no loss of energy due to any damping. Okay. So this becomes undamped free vibrations. So here we are going to do the vibration analysis and damped free vibration analysis of those system which have only single degree of freedom, one independent coordinate only. It's a very simple to understand, but yet we have to follow the procedures here. So under these conditions, the motion of the system is governed only by the influence of the initial condition. As I said, some initial excitation is given to a uh, block or a um, system so we may give the initial excitation in the form of some displacement from the mean position or we may impart some velocity at time t equal to zero so that becomes the source of vibration in this case of free vibration okay because there is no external force how will the system start vibrating we have to give some displacement or some velocity at time t equal to zero and single degree of freedom system are vibrating system which require only one degree independent coordinate to define their geometry at any instant of time. And what we do in the analysis, we have to determine the natural frequencies. Okay. And why they become important to be determined? Because uh, we have to match the frequency uh, with the external frequency external frequency frequency of external forces if both of them matches together then there is chances of resonance and in resonance the displacement is amplified so that cause most destruction okay so that's why we go for the formulation of equations of motion and then we uh, solve them and then we interpret the results and in this case the effect of damping have been completely neglected okay so we don't have to worry about the damping so vibration analysis if we summarize it can be uh, uh, 
summarized in the this four step formula here first one we have to in the first stage we have to model a real system mathematically so first of all a real system a real system is the system that exists in our real life okay and it is also called as prototype okay so when uh, we see a dam like uh, any dam tehri dam so when you look at the dam that is the real system real structure and we call it also as a prototype prototype are the system that is exactly existing in the system outside real world and then we make a model of that prototype uh, similar to all the dimensions and situations in our lab so that is the model and model size is Uh, much much more uh, smaller than the exactly prototype okay so everywhere we make the models okay so we can make a model of dam in our lab also and perform the experiments and see the uh, observations and interpret the results okay so similarly the first step here is also modeling of a real system mathematically and then there is a formulation of governing equations in the second stage because for every kind of motion we can write some governing equations what are the equations which are governing that motion okay and generally uh, these equations are in the form of differential equations okay differential equations of what displacement velocity and acceleration okay and then we go for the in the third stage there is uh, uh, we have to go for the different methods for solving these governing differential equations of motion you understand now we are going to the solution part of those gde governing differential equations and at the last stage we interpret those results okay so this is the four simple steps in vibration analysis so if we try to understand them clearly in the first stage mathematically modeling we try to determine the nature of the system its features aspects and the components involved in the real system and we model it simply on the paper mathematically and then in the second stage we try to formulate governing equations okay this is done after modeling and here different differential equations that govern the behavior of the vibrating systems are obtained by using uh, different uh, methods and there are different methods uh, which are uh, you must have studied in the law of mechanics and now we are studying dynamics so i hope you must have studied newton second law of motion and principle of conservation of energy in the mechanics but of course this principle we will study in dynamics d'alembert's principle okay for formulation of uh, governing equations of motion and the, in the third stage after writing down all those equation now we are going for the solution of governing equations okay so there are different methods for solving those ordinary linear differential equations and they are generally of second order why second order because acceleration is represented here by x double dot x double dot means d2 x upon dt square and velocity is represented as x dot it is written as dx upon dt similarly there is displacement which is exactly represented as x okay so there are uh, uh, differential equations of second order only mostly so the, what are the different methods for finding the solution of those governing differential equations so there are basically four methods okay and the methods are listed here as ordinary differential equation now this uh, method you must have studied in the mathematics how to solve the differential equations by taking a general a general solution and particular solution okay this you must have studied and then there are methods like matrix method finite element method numerical method let us see how much we do it and after getting the solution the last stage is interpretation of results here the solution of all the equation of motion for the real physical system uh, are interpreted and by that we can determine the displacement velocity and acceleration of different masses also if there are multiple degree of freedom at any time t so it includes drawings and curves 
of the masses and uh, at any time t uh, while they are vibrating okay and we can interpret uh, those for our uh, design purposes also so this is how we do the vibration analysis in simple four stages in single degree of freedom system under free vibration when there is no damping so we will be discussing about these stages in detail in the upcoming videos so till that stay tuned and stay safe thank you